Oh, the internet loves this type of woman so much, and we got to talk about it, guys. Step aside, Hawk Tua, because there is Asian Buffet Girl. Yeah, what's going on? Are these, like, American Eagle models acting super quirky for the internet? Let's run the clip. What would you do if you won the lottery? Open a buffet. What? Open a buffet. Open up a... a <laughs> you got to know your hands are so gross. A buffet. They didn't give you any, they didn't give you any napkins? Oh, you can eat Chinese food. Okay. Y'all want to do it here? Oh, oh, no, you okay? Here, stay up. Stay up. Here, go back with your friends. What is you your lost. YouTube channel? What the fuck is going on? It's called What the Fuck is Going it On? It is called What the Fuck is Beth, Going On. I'll watch you. Okay, thank you so much. What the fuck is going on? What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you, you gotta give him that hook to and spit on that thing. You get me? The team, the team, go team, go sports. All right, can you just explain what's going on here? I right, thank you. I have no idea. Boom, I mean, listen, there is a series of like super good looking but like quirky girls from Hog Tua, Broccoli Sports. Now we've got Buffet Girl, but Andrew, Buffet Girl is part Asian. Woo, Asians got one, we got one, yeah. <laughs> but guys, man, I wanna tell you this, man. This is the type of girl that guys love. And I think a lot of women wanna be friends with them. First of all, we're gonna delve into the deep reasons why the internet loves this type of girl so much. They love these clips, they love the quirkiness, the honesty, the security, the comfortability, the goofiness, they love it all. And we gotta break it down. So here are reasons why the internet goes crazy for this type of woman. David, and, and by the way, I'm a fan of Mary Gerana Sook. I, I don't know if her dad is white or mom is white. She does have a Thai last name. But I'll, I'll tell you this. She's a cutie. She's a cutie. So I guess, like, first of all, I would say, just an observation before we get into the list, I think I have a theory that all these girls, from Hawk Tua to Broccoli Girl to Buffet Girl, they might be the youngest children of their family. Right. It, they just seem yo like youngest children. And right, I'm youngest like, child energy. They got the young, not, not in a bad way, but they're just so goofy. And I, and I feel like it's because they all almost look like they could be American Eagle models or at least be like work at American Eagle uh -huh. or Abercrombie, but they don't act like how they look. All right. So, so anyway, let's just get into reason number one. As an Asian guy, I think I'll, I got sent this clip of Buffet Girl a lot and I sent also this clip of Buffet Girl because she's talking about opening a Chinese buffet. Dude, listen. He, the guy asked, hey, if you won the lottery, what would you do? And in the midst of it all, she would want to do what Fujinese Chinese immigrants have been doing for decades, which is open a Chinese buffet. That is hilarious. It's a hilarious answer. And it's not just funny because I thought when she said, open a buffet, I thought she was kind of like, I don't want to say she sounded fa, but it was like a little bit like, not clear that it was proper English. Well, so that was said, like her English from like her mom or her dad's side coming out. Well, yeah, right? she had food in her mouth. I think oh. she probably had some drinks. So she's like, open up open buffet. Up buffet. <laughs> uh, point number two, Andrew, all these girls actually from all the clips are from the South. And the South almost feels like a time capsule. Basically, uh, buffet girls from Austin, Texas. Hawk to a girl was what? I believe from what? I want to say Tennessee. I think so. And then uh, the broccoli sports girls from somewhere else down South as well. And it's just like, I guess it just feels like girls who could be stuck up based off their looks, but they're not. Dude. And that's sort of like, isn't that the, why the internet loves people like Keanu Reeves, Jennifer Lawrence, Paul Rudd, Ed Sheeran? They feel like they're almost like they're just being some down, you know, good old for a good old time like the 1980s breakfast club yeah and listen as much as people love the city those city women and the women who you know make it in new york city and make it in la you mean they go to dubai and are yeah are yeah well and we're, we're gonna talk about those reasons later the internet actually is really drawn men and women because i think a lot of women want to be friends with the girls like this like she seems like yeah she'd be a fun hang like i'd love to kick it with her and then there's guys who are like oh my gosh like this girl's humble she's like just on the street having fun like, she doesn't seem like she's gonna cost too much like she just seems like these seem like fun gals now if you know like in the south i've heard that term when i was spent time in the south a couple times i think it like, means something else in the south though. well it depends on how you say it yeah oh, she's just a fun gal versus like yeah 
Seem like some fun gals. Do you think it's the same appeal almost from uh, like Beverly Hillbillies when the girl's like, y'all want to play kick the can? Come yeah. on, damn. But well, it seems like that they're appreciative. They don't want too nice of things and they're feminine. And I think it is kind of tied to the political climate right now where people like certain things of the Southern values. Like not, not all things about the South do people love, but I think there's that Southern bell, that humble, beautiful Southern bell that type of thing has not gone away. That's right, an like, appealing like, image. You could take her to the barbecue, knock back a couple beers, and the girl's not gonna be like, Ugh, or whatever. Uh, point well, number three, Andrew. throw the pigskin around. Yep. Point number three, Andrew. It's nostalgic for the 1980s, 1990s type of pre-internet vibe, like Footloose, Patrick Swayze, in Ghost, uh, you know, Ferris Bueller yeah. movie the, energy. These girls just feel honestly very american and fun and you don't know their political leaning you don't know Ooh. what type of guys they date you don't know if they even like luxurious trips you just right. in this clip you picture them to be just a fun girl letting loose having fun being friendly to people she seems like right. they the, all these girls seem like they would be nice to people right. i mean they're even talking and, to guys on camera and, and isn't it true that she is on uh was it sixth street or whatever in uh Austin? Te- in Austin where it's like that's not like oh you better have bottle service at Marquee or else I'm not coming. Yeah, that's not that's whatever that attitude is. This is the inverse of that attitude, yes. right? Uh, point number four, Andrew. All three girls are kind of a hybrid of cute hot, and I actually think the internet more prefers cute hot because cute hot hybrid women are almost like guys' ideal wives versus like hot hot. Oh yeah. Oh dude, cute hot is great. I mean, and I think it's relatable. It's not so hot and glamorous that you feel like you couldn't talk to these women. You don't feel like that they're on a super high pedestal, but they're like the hottest of the middle class looking girl. You know, like of a girl who acts or, middle class, or, or a girl they're like who, the hottest ones. How about a hottest chick on the varsity soccer team? Yeah. Or volleyball team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they look like sporty girls, girls that are down with the bros. And just, man, I think just right now in the internet, like there's just so many... You know, we're going to go into the next point. This leads into the next point, David, which is number five. And it these girls just seem so opposite to, like, the OnlyFans models, some of these podcast girls on, like, whatever podcast that, you know, or, like, the fresh uh, My man fit. has to make a million a year. Yeah. If you're not a six fit, seven figure dude, yeah. don't talk to me. It's totally opposite to that meme that also went viral. Like, I'm looking for a guy in finance. Six five. Trust fund. Blue eyes. I'm looking for a man in finance. Trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. It's like, it's just opposite of that. You right. know what I mean? And people, although though these girls, these other types of women still go viral, it's always slightly with the shade of like the internet guys are kind of like, yeah, those women would never talk to me or they don't like me or like I couldn't even hang around them. Or and everybody like, kind of knows a girl like that that was like that in school or yeah, something like that. And, and they're like, not, and they're just so stuck up and you don't know if these, you don't know if, of buffet girl needs to get f- flown out to some yeah. luxurious trip, you know, like, she I, just I mean, let's cool. just compare and contrast her Andrew with the Thai girl who wears the German helmet on the whatever podcast who like always gives like, she's like, you know, did Molly the night hey. before. So she's hey. like dumped all her serotonin. The, like, the, 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 there's two types of half Asian girls, man. There's the buff open the buffet girl. And then there's, this girl on the whatever podcast. Right, 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 right. And the open up buffet girl is like actually better looking than this girl, yeah, but yeah. acts way more down to earth. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're a fan, number one fan, David Fung, number one fan of buffet girl. Mary, Mary, Jerona, uh, David, saying, uh, me... buffet girl. If you're watching this, David would like to offer some free consultation on your Chinese buffet idea. Uh, I'm just putting that out there. Point number six, Andrew. It just seems really wholesome because they're not. They're going viral for being like the funny class clown varsity soccer girl rather than an OF edgy girl. Yeah, and they're not saying anything about body counts and anything sexual or demanding. They're just asking these goofy... Well, Hawk Tua was technically a little sexual, and that's also why she went so viral. But Buffet Girl was wholesome. Super wholesome. Nothing sexual really about that answer. She just wants to open up an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet, which is a hilarious answer. Right, right, right. Let's just get into the comments section, Andrew. Somebody said, if this girl was fat or ugly, you wouldn't see a single person obsessing over her. This was like a internet comment. Uh, I, I actually, if she was just less better looking, I still think it kind of goes viral because it's such a funny interaction. 
because the guy can't understand that she's saying buffet. But of course, everything's multiplied by how cute she is. Of right. Course. I mean, here are two guys tipping their top hat to you. They would be perceived differently, right? Or I don't know, a not Ambani. He gifted everybody like 200K dollar watches at his wedding. I if mean, he gifted everybody like 2K watches, does it even go viral? I mean, I mean, does this guy even interview buffet girl if she's not at least kind of cute. Let's be honest. Right, right, right. Somebody said, I've never seen a skinny girl, skinny fat girl like this more in my life. She's a fat girl on the inside, a skinny girl on the outside. Oh man, people love this. Oh, they love it. Oh, a skinny girl with a fat girl attitude. I think guys like that. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I mean, that's like saying, dude, everybody, you know how a lot of guys, they grow up and they got a Ferrari on their wall, like in their room, but then they end up with like, they got a Tesla Model Y or a Sienna and stuff like that. I just feel like these girls, they cut to the core of American culture or what people feel like was captured in the 80s and the 90s. You know, Cameron Diaz's character in, uh, well, Cameron Diaz kind of acts like this, but especially her character in It's uh, Something About Mary. Mm. It's hyper quirky, hyper different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was just a good version of it. And um, I just think that there are girls who like maybe act like this, but not that don't, maybe hit the whole checklist with mm. the, you know what I mean? Like have the looks and have the quirkiness and it's not cringy and it's just like, it's all aligning. So these girls get a hundred million impressions on a simple drunk street interview. Right, right, right. Because I believe Broccoli Girl, Hawk Tua and uh, Buffet Girl were all drinking. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. it shows their like inner true self, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, Andrew, what do you think, man? We got, uh, what, we Asians got one. I mean, yeah, listen, she got the Asian last name, whatever that means. I don't know, but uh, we're going to say uh, she said she's pro-Chinese food. You know, chi pro-Chinese buffet food, at least. So I'm rolling with open the buffet, girl. And yeah, I mean, of the three to rank them, but they're all funny. And they're all just represent just what guys like man you know kind of reminds me even not not a full parallel like Kristen wig you know how like silly she is but like yeah. Kristen wig is like pretty cute and or, uh, i know mila kunis yeah. in the past decade was like viewed as somebody who like you know way more down to earth than you would think do you think not a kardashian i think kim kardashian is the opposite of this yes. kim kardashian's hyper coached hyper scripted hyper disassociated almost like living in her own godlike image of herself yeah and this is the type of girl that you really more see on the internet because Maybe they're a content creator, but really you can just tell these girls are not. You could tell that these girls are just kind of happy to be on camera. They're not like influencers. They're no, they're not they're, Kim they're, they're, K. They're, they're not trying to sell you something on their Instagram at least. And they're just like, and they're just trying to seize the moment. They're just they're like just living in the moment, living in the moment, man. And people like that. But uh, yeah, I, do you think that the popularity and the virality of girls like this, okay, let's say buffet girl, will make other girls in their head implant that image of like, hey, you know, if I get a chance, I want to say something cute and funny and quirky and wholesome. I think it could, but it's difficult because in my opinion, just like somebody, you, like she's successful without trying, right? And, uh, but then there's a really calculated way. And I feel like your life is made up of a million random reps that develop you that way. So it's tough to be like, I want to be the next girl who has like a hyper cute, wholesome moment on. Like, right, you know what I mean? Right, like right, it, right, it seems right. like something that it would almost have to be you. Yeah. And to your point, the girls that almost have those innate qualities to shine in like a, on a drunken street interview in a wholesome way they would also not have that influencer personality where you're like hyper-calculated, mm -hmm. crafted, trying to get these brand deals or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Are these girls just like the most American girls ever? Are they capturing some sort of like bygone era of like American, almost like, would you say like, the looseness comes from a, a sense of security, right? Well, you know, I just wish that there'd be more gals like this, man. This is what America needs right now. This is what I'm saying, man. Now you got JD Bands as VP, and you got Buffet and Hop to a Girl, man, coming from the South Sea. Southern girls know how to act. Anyways, that's why I feel like a lot of people are saying on the inside. Hey, dude, the South is rising again. Uh -oh. I, no, I'm not using that term. Not in, the, not in oh. that way. Not in the. But, but uh, yes. But you know what I'm talking about? Shabuzi bringing there's, back. West, you know. Let's just say that there's some uh, highlighting of certain Southern attitudes. Charming, certain Southern, charming Southern attitudes that are coming back. And I don't know. I mean, as long as it comes with an open mind, 
Why not? Is Matthew McConaughey going to do another uh, A Time to Kill? All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Let us know which one's your favorite. Buffet girl, hawk to a girl, uh, broccoli girl. Uh, what do you think about this type of girl? Are they your dream girl? Some appeal. Be honest. All right. <laughs> Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.